Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and in this video, I want to show you one of many ways to use icons on your website. Now, this is not necessarily the best way. Like I said, there are many, many ways, but this is just one of the methods I'm using to reduce the size of my website files. And as an example, this is my website. It has a bunch of images, animations, and it's not it's not like sacrificing on design or anything but it performs very well it is actually under one megabyte when it comes to file size it supports the dark mode as you can see fully automatic and it loads under one second so for example this is the gt metrics test you can see i get both 100 percent for both performance and structure well, actually, it's uh, 0 0.7 seconds is not actually the best I got. I got uh, 0 0.3 seconds or so two seconds many times before, but it's not consistent for some reason. And as you can see, the full size is just 655 kilobytes, even though I have lots of images and everything there. And by the way, it shows me that I can save even more if I make the images smaller, which I don't want to. I'm very happy with what I have at the moment. Okay, and uh, same goes for the page speed test. For example, this website gets both mobile and desktop gets 100 out of 100. So yeah, this website is very fast and there are a few tricks I'm using to achieve this. I'm going to cover all of them on this channel in coming weeks. But well, one of them is using icons as SVG or PNG files instead of the icons itself. It's not a big deal, not a big change, but it helps me to reduce the file size of the website. To show you an example, let me create a new project. Let's say icons. And I will add just one icon in the middle here. Let's make it big. And let's use font awesome. Let's say human or person user well something well, something like that let's say this is what we want to use and well let's make it a little bit darker like that okay that's all i want to have on my website so let's go to export export this project minify anything everything we can and let's export this icon files whatever and this is the files i'm getting here so the total size is 3.3 megabytes which is not a lot of course but considering that we only have one icon on the website it is a little bit too much and the reason why the size is so big is because of fonts which occupy 2.9 megabytes which is crazy and as you can see because of this one small icon uh, it blocks put here fa brands regular solid all the weights all of the different extensions not all of them are huge but some of them like fa solid 900 it's it's crazy svg is not even used that much any modern browser will probably use uh, this one or maybe like sometimes this one but yeah, at the end of the day, you carry and you upload to your server this folder 2. Point, uh, how, how much is 2.9 megabytes each time you upload your website. And it is okay, it's not that much because not all of these files will be loading when you, of course, uh, open the website. Only some of them, your browser will decide which one to load. But still, I don't like that. I prefer to use uh, images these images or svg files or png files or vector graphics when i don't need too many icons so if i have to use many 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 icons of course uh, i can just stick to the icons we have in blocks but if i only need to have four or five whatever icons like i do on this website for example i mean i don't really use a lot here but uh, yeah, I mean, when I don't need to use a lot of icons, I prefer to use alternative way, which is, for example, if we go to font awesome, if 
we go to font awesome website oops if we go to font awesome website and we can start uh, we can search for person person and let's switch to five which is available inside blocks or user yeah this is the one i think we just used this one or this one so one of these so and we can of course download it as svg file from here we can of course embed the html which is also one of the good ways to do that but there is something like for example font awesome to png or there are many many other similar apps which allow you to convert the font awesome icons to png files so let me show you how to do that using for example this website so let's try user solid and well let's make it bigger it doesn't really matter but something like 256 will be a good number for me so let's press return and for color i usually go for black or white and we can of course change it later if you want but well black and i will download this file so uh, let's check the file right now well it is on my other display but in any case this is the file we get out of the box but we can also further optimize it with something like image optim for example as you can see it will save over 60 percent it's making it barely two kilobytes and now let's just add this uh, this icon here as an image like that make it a little bit smaller something like that and let's delete the one we had before and let's export this and this time icon png let's export it again and now we have two folders which is this is the first one and this is the second one as you remember the first one was uh, 3.5 megabytes or something like that the second one is just 400 kilobytes and because as you can see we don't don't we don't have the phones folder of course like i said this is not the only way to do that we can embed the icons directly using the html code and many other ways but as you can see we have this two kilobyte icon here and we have reduced the size of our files by three megabytes just by doing that so yeah there are many websites like this you can download the icons directly from the font awesome if you want and if you don't really need a lot of icons on your website you can consider doing some something like this to kind of save the space in your project so hopefully it was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. Have a nice day and I will talk to you in the next video.